When you click on the lab, you will see a screen like this. Click on the launch button. Once you click the launch button, an Amazon EKS cluster will start spinning up in the background with all the essential software required to run your lab, like Kubernetes pods, Portworks, and Helm. For our lab, we need to install Portworks on a pre-existing cluster. So the lab will set up a Kubernetes cluster for us to experiment with. This usually takes about 20 minutes to complete. When the lab is ready, you will see a start button shown on the bottom right. Click the button and that should take you right to the lab. This is how the lab screen will look like. The left half of the screen is the terminal that you will use to interact with your Amazon EKS cluster. The right half includes all the lab details. At the top, you will see the progress bar, which will show you how far into the lab you've come. You'll also find a clock with the time you have until your lab expires. Here, we have 58 minutes to play around in our lab environment until it expires. Now let's follow all the instructions displayed on the right side. Let's explore the lab environment. Question one asks, how many master nodes do you see in the cluster? Let's take the hint. As you can see, there's one, two, and three nodes in this cluster. You can click on show solution to see the solutions for any questions asked in the lab. As you can see, the answer here is S3. Question two asks, what is the version of Kubernetes installed in this environment? Let's see the version. It's 1.21. There we go. What is the status of the Cube API server? It is running. There we go. Are there any pods running on the default namespace? There doesn't, doesn't seem to be any. What is the name of the DNS deployment in the cluster? Core DNS. How many replicas are configured? for this deployment. Two. When you're done following all the instructions, you can click the check button. You will be taken to the next lesson in the lab. If there are any errors in your lab solution, an error message will appear on the bottom of the terminal. Once you fix your errors, you can click check again. And if the solution is correct, your lab should move on. Pro tip, sometimes if you click check immediately after creating a resource or making some changes in the lab, the terminal will show an error since the resource might not have been created yet. In such cases, wait a bit and then click check and you should be able to proceed with your lab. If you wish to skip a step and move to the next lesson, you can click on the skip button. The lab will automatically do all the necessary changes required in the current step and then move to the next one. At any point, if you wish to close the lab, just click on the close button. Now let's move forward and click check. Let's go to the next step. In the next step for this lab, we have to install Portworks. Most labs come pre-installed with the latest version of Portworks, version 2.11. Since this lab involves us installing Portworks on a Kubernetes cluster, it only comes pre-installed with Kubernetes and a cluster. Now let's follow the instructions. Let's run these commands to install Portworks on this cluster.
let's watch our pods pop up. When all three port works node show two slash two running, we can move on. Let's check the installation logs. That's a lot of information that you can go through. Now let's move on to the last step. For the last step, let's complete all the lab instructions. Question one asks, how many storage nodes do you see in the PX cluster? There's one, two, three. There we go. Now let's click on next. That's it. You're done using your lab. You can take some time to rate our lab so that we know what topics you'd like to learn more about. Or you can click the finish button and that should take you back to your Udemy course.